Well, if that wasn't a victory jingle, I don't know what is. Although, actually, no, it's the song of rebirth, if I remember rightly, or maybe not, I don't know. But it caused me many sadness. But look at all the things we unlocked, and by the way, hello, I am Tessellating Hexagons. And we unlocked a whole buttload of stuff. We unlocked a costume thing, a time attack, I think that- I think that's a boss rush? Uh, the movie viewer, which is all the cutscenes of the game. Uh, the character viewer, which is just a character model thing. And there's a reverse mode, which I will deal with some other time. Um... I'm gonna show off the costumes first because that's how you know it's a post-game video. You can see that I'm using a different costume. Now, I meant to look this up um, off camera, but then I didn't. Now, it, it would make sense that Hu Pao Po Pi Pu, whatever his name is, I, I, I you know, whatever. It makes sense that he hadn't seen his outfits, because this one at the bottom, I believe, is based on Kul's outfit in the original, and also his appearances on the Wonder Swan in a game entitled Moonlight Museum. That one was this, but redesigned for this game, and that's his default costume. This one, I believe, is his outfit from the second game, Lunati's Veil, vale, or Lunatia's Veil. Vale. And then that, I don't know, I'm going to assume it's from, like, the manga or something? I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna wear that. Because, I don't know, I've not seen anyone else, and apparently that gives me excuse to save, but I'm not going to bother saving because I don't know. So, um, I'm going to start with the extra vision, because post-game, and it's a long and difficult level, and I seriously need to clear my throat, so excuse me while I... If, I don't know if there even is a cutscene here. Let's do the thing anyway. Blah. Now, normally, also they renamed the level, it was originally Clone of Kerr's Grand Gale Strategy. Anyway, uh, normally I wouldn't talk, well, normally I would talk over cutscenes rather, but I didn't in this case because I really like the music of this level, it's just Baloo's theme. But yeah, this, this right here should be indication enough of what to expect. This is kind of a, oh, you beat the game, well, fuck you level. So, yeah, tricky platforming, and this is just the start. Like, this is Gaia Kauki, just the start. Well, the start, whatever. It, it's a load of, of difficult platforming, complicated jumps, and, and you're kind of against the clock, but that's just to see what your own personal best time is. There are checkpoints everywhere, extra lives everywhere. It's deliberately just... I'd say only for the best players, but I, I could do it, so does that qualify me to do this level? I don't know, I'm... Uh, this is this is kind of like the, the clear equivalent to a Honey Pop sex scene. And once again, nine lives at a time, they do not expect you to do well here. And as I said, in this version of the game, this is just the beginning. There are much worse levels than this. Oh, Teton. Mm -hmm. These are not... Ah, uh, no, 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 oh, oh, oh. Why am I trying to get Dream Crystals? Also, Lava is insta-kill, oh, fucky poos. Fucky poos, I'm catching moos and jumping with them. 
Oh, oh, thank goodness for small mercies, otherwise known as respawning enemies. I tried to double jump using enemy I wasn't holding, yay! Um, don't trust you. Uh, yep, uh, yep, uh, yay, it's a checkpoint. Yeah, uh, competing here is not going to be easy. Uh, in the second game, in Lunatia's Veil, vale, uh, they actually do have two levels like this, funnily enough, and I fucked that up. Um, the two levels like this. One's relatively easy, and one of them is really hard. And I've completed them both, but that's for another time. I've completed this during my childhood as well, and I fucked that up too, didn't I? Yeah. I want to get as many gems here as possible, or dream crystals, whatever. But I, I could just blitz through this bit by jumping over the top of it, but I'm tempted, because that's how games work, and I'm... Fuck it. I'm fucking it. Oh, there's a double fairy section. Fuck this. And if I have to do 100% on this level, then I, I'm not coming back to this if I ever do get to streaming it. Because this bit by itself isn't difficult. It's just if you're going for 100%. And I've decided here and now, officially, yeah, fuck that shit. <sighs> fuck that shit. Now, if I could be clever here, I could do this, and then that, and then get as many of the dream crystals as possible, and... Oh my god, I fucking aced that double fairy section. The one time, the one time I'm deliberately ignoring easy gems, well, relatively easy gems, in favour of bloody... My goodness, my Guinness. Cha, cha, cha. Now, with these tetons, as is actually proven in the Game Boy Advance in, um, Empire Dreams Dream Camp Tournament, they have really weird physics. Oh, we're up to ten lives at a time, they have that little faith in us. Uh, Tetal physics, or you know, those flying enemies, well, the ones that make you fly, they have kind of dodgy physics, so if you come in from them... It, ah, no, ah, my hand locked up there. If, if you grab them while you're falling, then, like, you won't go as high as if you grab them while not falling. Fuck, I used my fly too soon. See, this is why they give you a whole load of lives. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I... In ideal world, I'd do this on a stream as well, but, mm, th there, there's another, like, there's something they've added to this version of the game that's similar to this, and that I may also stream alongside the other streamable things. Oh, no, no, oh, I, my, my hand starts locking up and going weird. Like, oh, panic mode, can't function, fuck. Just, just jump straight into the lava, yeah, that's fine. Oh boy, I'm gonna, like, I, I started recording at 11 o'clock at night. We're gonna be here a while. Oh! See, this is what I was saying about the buddy tetons. No, not that way, no, 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 you poob! You poob from the planet bombstickle. I've been re-watching my Let's Play of Anodyne for some reason because... I don't know, there's not really been anything on lately. Uh, don't lock up on me now, hand. No, 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 no. Don't, ma don't make like Zron Games' hand and go Mern Woo. I don't know why he posted that as his Skype status once, but he did, and it wasn't particularly funny. Uh, 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 okay, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to anyway, and I'm going to regret it for every day of my life, like Aiko and her degree and some sort of maths I don't remember. No, 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 move. Ah, ah. No, 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 I had the gems. I fucking had it. You kids don't understand gambling. Oh, this is a great thing to record at night. Ah, 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 ah. Like that Japanese robot that just says ah for some reason. Like it's shaped like the hiragana letter ah. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. 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 Fuck me sideways, please. Thank you. Yes, I'm turning into Josh Jepson for some reason. Ah uh, ah. Uh, it's a good thing that you have like this grace point of damage. Oh fucky. Fuck. 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 Like, if you fly once in midair then you can't fly again until you land, or until you next get hit. <sighs> Teton physics do not like! Because you can't double jump off them. You have to rely on not falling. And if you throw them into another enemy, then th they'll pop that enemy, and so... Aye, timing is a thing. 
Ah, th there we go. You just need to wait for it to pop and then hover in place and then grab the next one. Or just do that. That works too. And I was so expecting that to pop prematurely. To pop the cherry prematurely. Pop your cherry gum. Oh, joy! It's the eggy things. My favourite. Oh, wow. I got booped into the lava. Like, it... I'm really grateful that this gives you so many lives, because I, I do not want to have to do this again. Ever again in my life. I'm sure I said that the first time as well, but... Uh, I, I'm happy to take this hit if it means I can keep those dream crystals. Oh, I can't keep them because there's this. And this relies on fucking Jetta Physics! No! I mean, up until this point, it's been really liberal with checkpoints. And now it's like, no, fuck you, you could do two difficult things at once because this bit isn't as difficult as previously thought. Fuck it. I, I will take all those hits just to grab those green crystals because that actually did- I, I missed a thing. Did, did I miss a thing? I don't remember. You see? You see? You have to have some downward momentum so you get under that first spiker. This is like... Kaizo Clear. No, okay, okay. Wasn't expecting to be able to get that, but I got it and I'm happy. Not happy about doing this level, but I'll take what I can get. Oh, I cleared out all of the enemies. That's pretty much guaranteed the best I'm going to do. You watch. You watch. I'm going to get to this level. I'm going to have all the dream crystals, except for those easy-ish ones towards the beginning that I deliberately missed. You see? And that one, apparently. Fuck it, I'm not going back for it. Because this is just... Uh, Kaizo clue. And, and, and panic again, and... No, I got booped sideways, and not the good sideways. Ah. I did say this game had a difficulty spike, and even the, the um, Game Boy Advance titles have levels of this difficulty, actually. Uh, you may have seen briefly when I was showing off some of the bonus levels in um, Dream Champ Tournament Versus. Like, at the end of that, I went into a bonus level just to show it off, and it, like, there's... <clears throat> they have such a beautiful physics engine that enables them to pull this kind of bullshit. Uh, ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit, ooh, ah, uh, a little bit more, ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit, singing songs that will somehow make me do better, but probably not. Whoa, I didn't know those things could spawn out of spawners. This, oh, I was going to say this doesn't look too hard, but they're riding on lava, so yes, it's hard. Because lava equals difficulty. Have you learned nothing from your 19 years of playing video games? We're nearly at the top, though, I think, and it didn't take us just under 100 hours. In fact, is that it? Huh! Huh! Oh my. I've not heard this cutscene in a while, so I'm gonna go quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Friend zoned! So yeah, you go through all that, and your reward is the sound test. It was the same in the original, I shit you not. Now I'm sort of disappointed that there's not more level after it, but at the same time, that was really rather difficult. So there you go, unlock the sound test. 140, see? See, I even did better 
in that than I did in in six one, and all because of some fuck. See, I got a dream, a, a double fairy section, perfect, but I, in in, in the bonus level, and like I'm never going back there. Those eight dream crystals can stay right the fuck where they are. Um, I suppose I have time to show off everything else. Um, costumes, um, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'll handle this. Uh, first of all, reverse mode. It's a bit more complicated than it sounds. All the levels are indeed back to front. Everything's back to front. But also, hidden throughout the levels are these little warp things that take you to mini rooms that are sort of Baloo's tower in terms of platforming difficulty. Like, they're mega super ultra challenges. And I feel like those would be best suited to a stream because I am not recording all of those without some sort of... Like, there's no way I'm not doing that live. Because I, I, I wouldn't... There'd be no fun in recording those unless I had, like, a live audience to play off of... Well, for there's a music player, which is the only reward for beating the bonus. Like, this is the only extra unlockable apart from the bonus level in the original. And you unlock the bonus level by getting all six of each collectible in each level. That's all it is. Character viewer, I believe completing the the bonus rooms in reverse mode unlocks more things in it. So I might as well show it off while we're here. So yeah, they attribute every um every bonus thing to a separate area on the map, but they weren't, like, they weren't in the original. But I suppose it makes the game a bit more unified, I don't know. It makes you feel like the characters have a bit more of a sense of purpose. And also it makes you feel like the temple actually does something in this case. And it gives Salel and Solari some more lines. So yeah, this you can literally just show off, um, well, you can look at, oh, I can actually use this to show off all of Kul's outfits without having to change into them. So this this is his outfit from um uh bloody Lunatic's Veil, vale, but you'll become acquainted with that in due course. Uh obviously you you know what his standard outfit looks like because we've had we've only been playing the entire game with it. And there's a somewhere which like that hat thing looks a little bit like a, a Jewish skull cap, I don't know, and then he's got Japanese shoes. i like this really does feel like it's from the manga, but I could be wrong. And then there's the updated take on his outfit from the original and I think also from the Wonder Swan game or games. I that might even be his outfit from uh, Densetsu no Star Medal, I don't even remember. So, yeah. You even get a proper look at the collectible people. Like, this this is, this is the collectible people from the, the Wind Kingdom. So, I don't really have much to say on the matter. Also, this menu is really sensitive. Um, but yeah, also the Moon Queen never got a name. And you can look at all the enemies and stuff. Now, I believe that... Um, doing the various secret like when you do a secret room in uh reverse mode you get this hexagonal token thing and i believe that unlocks more things to view here but i don't know i like i can't confirm this but that's probably because and we'll find out if and when i stream it and as the music player is the sound test i suppose i can show off what that looks like in a minute um costumes i've shown time attack I think this is just a boss rush, but I mean, one loading screen later we'll find out. Yeah, you see they're, they're attributing it to each of the individual kingdoms, which is nice, because in the original game, you see it once and then that's it. And also, I want to address a comment from when I fought the boss here the first time. Austin, if you are still watching at this point, did I understand right? Because you said something about uh, a halved health bar. Were you talking about the fact that Kerr has 10 hit points in this because... I have to. I interpreted it, interpreted it as Seedolf and and Pamela having like there were four hits in the original, and four hits in this. And I, I don't know, maybe I misunderstood. Anyway, not a boss rush, just bosses against the clock. Fun times. Although I'd prefer to just do the level running up to them anyway. Um, I might do this on my own time. I don't know. Uh, movie viewer, pretty much the same thing, but in Forlock Forest. Because as I said, world unification and stuff. Hey. It, it sort of it does see the the fact that they're regaling you with these rewards in person does make it feel like a proper reward for beating the game. And wow, well, the the, the tutorial cutscene for getting keys counts as a cutscene. Wow. Anyway, um, I certainly don't want to rewatch those endings ever again, but I had to because that's how let's plays work. Um, costumes, time attack, movie, character viewer, that just leaves the music player. Obviously, reverse mode, I will save for like a stream or something, because, like, I'm gonna save what that looks like 
as a mystery of, I don't know, I, I can grammar totally, so let's have a quick look at the music player and then I'll end the video. And wow, there aren't any more episodes of this left to do. Oh, right, it doesn't even take you to a separate screen, you can just, yeah, you could, it has all the song titles and then you can, you know, press A to listen to them and it's lovely and you've got your fees in the middle of the screen. And in the original, it had uh, two Nagapokos, one flying up and one flying down, and then they'd alternate, and so I'd like to, like, when I was a child, I'd imagine, like, Legend of Zelda-style Link firing an arrow from left to right, and what would the timing need to be for it to pass, like, under one before it came down, and then under the other before, it, like, to not hit either Nagapoko because of the timing, I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much everything. I, I'll, I'll show off what um, reverse mode looks like, but I'm not going to go into any of the levels just yet. It's just... It takes this, everything looks wrong when it's backwards, but, um, yeah, what more can I say apart from, oh right, yeah, it, it goes, mirror fairies, that's what those assholes are called.